Hi, my name is Maria Frank and I'm the manager of Welfare Science. Welfare Science is the foundation for everything we do here at the Toronto Zoo. So when we were designing this new outdoor habitat for our orangutans, we gathered internal experts, external experts to make sure that we had every element put into this habitat to allow our orangutans every opportunity to thrive. You have to go on animal time, especially when you're dealing with such intelligent animals like orangutans. It's about choice and control and letting them explore at their own pace. This habitat has so many different variables. We've got O-lines, we've got swinging, we've got water features, we've got trees. Um, we're just so, so excited to see how they explore and how they utilize this habitat here at the Toronto Zoo. In this habitat, you will notice that there are a million different features that our orangutans can explore and utilize throughout the day. These animals are incredibly intelligent and we wanted to make sure that we were giving them opportunities to elicit all of their natural behaviors. So, within the habitat, there's opportunities for them to climb various different spots. There's opportunities for them to rest, for them to forage. Um, there's all sorts of different plants in there that they can, they can manipulate. And there's also a lot of climbing apparatus for them. So they can explore that habitat on their own. Also some fun human enrichment included in this exhibit as well. Um, as you can see, I'm standing next to this sign here and it says, watch out. This is the danger zone for the humans. Um, we have given the orangutans the opportunity to spray you with water. There is a button inside the exhibit and once they figure out what it does, I imagine they're gonna have lots of fun trying to get all of our guests with the water. So they can actually press the button and then there's a, a feature out here that will spray our guests with water. So if you're not interested in getting wet, don't stand near this sign. But if you're interested in having some fun and interacting with this incredible species, hang out here and see if they'll spray you with some water. Because this is a new habitat, um, the animals are going to take time to get used to it. So when you come out, you might not see an animal in the new habitat, but trust me, it's because we have the animals' welfare top of mind. It's about taking baby steps, letting them decide when they want to come out. We have seven orangutans with all different personalities. Some are more curious than others. But when you do come to the zoo, we do have our existing indoor habitat where you will be able to see um, our amazing orangutans. Another part of the orangutan outdoor habitat is all about educating our guests and our community about the plight of this critically endangered species, the Sumatran orangutan. So we're really, really grateful from the Toronto Zoo Wildlife Conservancy for their generous donation, which is allowing us to partner with Sumatran orangutan conservation program in Sumatra. So we can link um, all this amazing work that we're doing and research we're doing here at the Toronto Zoo with the amazing amazing work that they're doing in preserving and conserving orangutan habitat and preventing this species becoming extinct.